The Larissa network is a layer one blockchain platform that launched in January 14th, 2024. It is a very new project. It is an EVM compatible blockchain and it utilizes the ETH hash proof of work consensus mechanism. The Larissa network had a fair launch. What that means is there is no pre-mine, there is no ICO, and there is no external investors. Because this is a new project, all the high risk rules apply here. You want to ensure that you thoroughly check out this project, go into the white paper, and I'm also going to be linking Crypto Nordic's review and dive in the description below. He also put out some very detailed tweets on his perspective of this project, and I highly encourage that you read through them while you're doing your own research. In this video, I'm going to be setting up a guide on how to set up a node on a Windows PC, and I'll be going through the entire process step by step. The first thing that we want to take a look at is the minimum requirements. Make sure that your PC does meet those specs. So you're going to need Windows 10 or 11. You're going to want to have four CPU cores and four threads, 256 gigs of SSD disk space, and eight gigs of RAM. Now, if you have more RAM, like 16 gigs or more CPU cores and threads, it's obviously going to run a lot more smoother, but those are the minimum. Specs. This node will require a license to operate, which is starting to become more and more regular. There are two different licenses that you can have, and I do like the fact that they offer two options. The first license is going to be a two-year license. That's going to cost you $350. It's going to allow you to run and operate your node for two years. The second option is going to be a three-month license, which is $50, significantly less, and it allows you to run your node for three months. That way you can gauge profitability and how the network actually operates. Speaking about profitability, I'm just going to pop up the chart right now so you can see how much these nodes are actually making. This is the Larissa node profitability calculator, and I just have one node entered in here. Uh, it lets you know how many active nodes are up and running. I'll make sure I link this in the description because these numbers are going to constantly change. The more nodes that are online, the less rewards that you're going to get. You can see right now for a 24 hour period, you're going to earn 1.42 LOSRN, uh, which is about $13. So this is earning about $13 a day right now. Uh, a seven day performance is going to be $95. And a 30 day earnings, we're looking at $414. So that is the numbers right now. And these numbers are going to be all over the place during the first few months. If you've been in other projects, uh, you'll know that it's extremely volatile. Uh, you can get a one month ROI like we are right now, maybe even less than that as this project grows. And then all of a sudden, as we get to the peak and we get this huge decline, uh, profitability will be significantly less, earnings will be significantly less, and then we'll get more of a realistic ROI, which will probably be six months to a year. That's the way most projects trend. Now I'm going to just quickly go over the steps that we're going to need to get this node up and running. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to buy the token. The token is LRS, and you can get that on a few different exchanges. The exchange I'm going to be using is going to be Zagex. Zagex is one of my favorite exchanges. There's no KYC involved. You can purchase it using USDT. Uh, which is the stable coin that I use the most. Then once we have the LRS token, we're going to go ahead and create our account. We're going to be creating their account on their dashboard. And I'm also going to be adding the Larissa network to my MetaMask wallet. I'm going to be using the MetaMask wallet because I'm going to be swapping tokens for a little bit here. We're going to be swapping LRS for LRSN in order for us to buy the license for the node. That's going to be required. Once we swap for LRSN, we can go ahead and buy our license, download the software, and then we can go ahead and install it and get it operational. So that's a quick overview of the steps involved to get this up and running. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm over here on Zegex. Here is the pair LRS slash USDT. The price is about 15 cents right now. This is gonna be all over the map. Uh, it's gonna be highly volatile, uh, but what you wanna do is buy $350 worth of the LRS token. I actually recommend going a little bit above that, maybe $355. Uh, because you're going to want to also cover transaction fees. Once you've bought the LRS coin, we can go ahead and withdraw it and add it to our MetaMask wallet, which I'm going to do right now just to show you the steps. I'm going to go over here into the main website and over here at the top where we have the use section, we're going to go over to get wallet. And in here, they have a number of different wallets, which is very impressive. So we have the MetaMask feature right over here that when you click on it, it'll automatically add all the components that's required to your MetaMask wallet. Once it's in your MetaMask, you'll see over here on the left-hand side, you have Larissa added to it, and then you can deposit your LRS token by copying your address 
which is going to be over here at the top and deposit the amount into your wallet. All right, so I've made my purchase for LOSR. I've sent it to my MetaMask wallet, and now we can go ahead and create our account. So we're gonna go over here into the main portal. It's lrsn.larissa.network. Uh, you're gonna put in your email address and fill out the CAPTCHA. It's gonna take you through a few validation steps uh, before you can log in, so you can go ahead and do that. I'll jump over to the next step. Now that we're in the dashboard, we're gonna click the plus over here. I already have one wallet created. We're gonna go ahead and click on the plus to create a new wallet. And then we have the option that says generate a new wallet and you can click on create. That password will also be emailed to you. And once that's been generated, you'll have a section right over here with a QR code and your wallet address. Now that we have our account created and our dashboard created, we wanna go ahead and start swapping. Uh, so to check out the active price right now, we can click on the buy button right over here. And for a light node, which is going to be the one for $350, which will be valid for two years. The price is going to cost us 34.42 LRSN. And again, if you want the trial one, the trial one is right over here. That's $50, which is going to be 4.9. Again, you're going to do whatever suits you best. In this video, I'm going to be purchasing enough for the light node. So it's going to be 34.42. Let's call it 35. I'm going to go over here and this is going to be the swap tool that they have already deployed. It's swap.larissa.network. This dashboard is already connected to my MetaMask wallet. If you haven't done so, you can just click on the link over here. And then over here, we have the swap option. So in the token listed, I'm gonna select LRSN. And what I wanna do is I wanna swap over 35. It's gonna give me an estimate that's required right over here. And then I can go ahead and click on swap. Before you do the swap, you wanna make sure that you do have a little bit more LRS available to cover the fees. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this, click on swap. MetaMask is gonna want me to confirm this and I'll get notified when the transaction has been completed. That's completed. I'm just gonna click on this to go over to the Explorer. By default, you probably just have the LRSN token and not the LRSN token. We're gonna to wanna to import that. So if we go over here to the Explorer, and we click on tokens. We can click here to add it to our MetaMask wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna be adding the token in here. And now when I go inside my MetaMask wallet, you can see both of them are listed here, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Uh, we can now go ahead and go to the portal and buy our license. I'm over here at the portal. What I wanna do is send myself some LRS and LRSN. We have the address right over here. You can copy this. You can go into your MetaMask wallet and you're gonna be sending both. You don't wanna send just LRS, you wanna send LRSN. You're gonna to wanna to send about two or three LRS to this dashboard to cover the transaction fees. And then you wanna have enough LRSN to buy the node. You can go ahead and click on send and send both the amounts to your wallet. I've transferred the amounts over to my dashboard. I have some LRS to cover the transaction fees and I have some LRSN to buy my node. We're gonna be buying our key right now the price of the light node is going to cost me 34 LRSN. This number is going to change depending on the price of LRSN. Uh, so you actively want to watch that when you're making your purchase. The only thing I'm going to need to do is enter in a password. I'm, I'm entering in the referral code right now. I have Crypto Nordic, but I'll also put mine down in the description below. Not sure if that gives you a discount yet, but it might give you a discount. So it'd be a good idea to put in the referral code. Uh, the wallet password is going to be the password that was emailed to you when you set up the account. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Okay, so I just entered in my password. I'm going to click on approve and it's going to go through the process of purchasing this license. Okay, so our purchase is successful. I can go ahead and close out of this window. The key is going to be emailed to you. So it might take about five to 10 minutes. It really depends on the network, I guess. Uh, but it will take a little bit of time for that key to show up in your inbox. You're going to want to wait for that to get your license key. But what we're going to go ahead and do right now is install the software. Now the software link, I'll make sure I link down in the description below. Uh, it's right over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's a very small file. I think it's about 35 megs. Yeah, 32 megs. Okay, and here it is. I just put it on my desktop over here. I'm going to go ahead and double click that and open it up. And uh, we'll click on more info and then run anyway. Uh, when you get this prompt, you can say yes. And what I'm going to be doing for this node launcher is I'm going to be using all the default settings. So I'm going to click on next and uh, we'll have it automatically start up. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut, click on next and install. And there we go. So this is done. We can go ahead and leave this checked because we want it to start up. I'll click on finish. I'm going to minimize my browser. Looks like there's already an update here. So I'll go ahead and install that update. 
Okay, I'm just going to close this launcher so I can continue. Um, and then I'll click on install. There we go. So that's ready to roll. I'm just going to minimize this window and I'll minimize the uh, wallet I have over here. All right, so then we click on finish and it's going to launch it. Looks like we are completely up to date right over here. Uh, I'm going to leave the option to check automatically selected. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and log in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log in right now. I'm going to use the same email address I signed up with. So I just logged in and now I get this option to select my key. Inside here in the drop down list, it already has my key listed. So I can select that and I'm going to click on submit. It's going to ask me to go through my firewall. I'm going to allow access. Okay, so it is now syncing up with the blockchain right over here. Uh, you get some information on the left hand side. If you want to manually add a peer, you have the option down here, uh, a support option, your current port that you're using right now, uh, the node explorer. If you click on that, it'll pop open the Larissa network node explorer. And then you also have the block explorer. And if you want to shut it down, you have a big on and off button right now. Mine's running, but if I wanted to shut it down, I can click on this power button to shut it down over here on the right hand side. We can see the CPU usage right now, which is hundred percent. Uh, RAM is at 36%, and then we have disk space. It's using very little disk space right now. And up at the top, we have a claim options. I'm sure you're wondering uh, how much you need to claim. So 10 LRSN is what's required before you can click on that claim button. And then you can go ahead and send it to your MetaMask wallet and swap it back and sell it or hold it or whatever you want to do there. So that's how you do it. That's how you install the Larissa network node on a Windows 10 PC. Also, let me know what you think about the project. Are you getting ETCMC vibes? Are you getting other vibes here? Uh, do you see the work that's gone into it? Because if you take a look at the project and the development behind it, there is quite a bit of work that went into getting this up and running. It seems like they have something viable here with decentralized storage and gaming that's going to be layered on top of it. A lot of positive things, but I'm really interested to know what you think about it. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.